Good morning. This is Adam Smith with the Colorado Real Estate Finance Group, a commercial and residential mortgage lender, on Monday, September 26th. And of course, I'm here with your weekly zero cost marketing and contact management tip. Remember, if you'd like more information about the classes I teach on contact management, zero cost marketing, social media marketing, video blogging, don't hesitate to contact me or have your managing broker or title rep do that as that seems to be how most of these classes are arranged. But it's great information for anyone who has a direct-to-consumer relationship like realtors, mortgage brokers, insurance agents, financial planners, and I love to throw in occasionally that we even help a handful of professional sports franchises with their ticket sales, season ticket sales, suite sales, etc. And this is an exciting time of year for that and for us and for me personally. I love when the weather cools off and it is football and hockey season. Um, but neither here nor there, let's get to this week's tip. And this week's tip isn't really so much related to how you can add a tip into your normal cycle as far as how to generate more contacts, more leads, more relationships, more clients, more transactions. But really this week's tip is more transactional. And not that we don't talk about it, but I think really the crux of what's going on right now, and I know the problem is coast to coast and certainly more prevalent in Colorado than a lot of places, is the appraisal process. And I know you guys know that it's bad. And I think it's a fairly simple explanation. The barrier of entry to be an appraiser is very, very difficult. The appraisers are retiring, matriculating, have left the business, and there's a big shortage of people that are actually able to do that job, and not a lot of people coming in to do that job. Same kind of thing with mortgage brokers. You guys don't know of a new mortgage broker, maybe somebody cutting their teeth at a bank, but you don't know of a new real estate appraiser either. It's just a shortage issue. There aren't enough people to do the actual work. Um, to the point where things are insane, to say the least. Uh, I even heard tale of an appraiser asking for a $3,600 rush fee. Fortunately, that was in a state outside of Colorado, but we're certainly seeing four-figure requests, and we're probably gonna start seeing four-figure appraisals someday, not too far down the road, where it's just a standard turn time. Now, in Colorado right now, that's easily a month six weeks. Uh, I saw a colleague of mine recently report on one here that was 11 weeks, nearly three months to get a normal appraisal turn. Uh, mind you, no rush fee, although I think it was still in excess of $1,000 to get that done. And that's an enormous impact, not only on, from a dollar perspective, and obviously everybody's job is to watch out for your client's dollars, but from a timeline perspective, from a calendar perspective. So the tip really cycles back to communication. Are you talking with all parties involved, your client? Are they getting information from, say, a landlord they're trying to terminate with? Are you talking to the other agent about what the plans are for the people selling the house? Are you talking to your lender about these turn times, about a rush fee, is the lender talking to the buyer borrower about paying that fee, so on and so forth. There's so much communication that needs to be amped up and ramped up in order to make sure that the appraisal process right now is not killing your transactions, is not creating a major deficit, dilemma, dramatic problem for the buyers and borrowers, that I want to make sure you guys understand how key, how much more important communication on that stuff is right now than it ever has been in the past. What I do implore that you do is check out a colleague of mine by the name of Rob Chrisman, C-H-R-I-S-M-A-N, Chrisman, and check out his blogs that he's written recently on what's going on in the appraisal process and what is going on in the appraisal world, because I think it'll make a big impact for you and help you understand what 
you need to relay to your clients so that they know what's going on. And if you want uh, copies of those blogs, let me know. I'm certainly happy to promote Rob in any way I can and to help you guys understand what's really going on. Okay. So that's this week's tip. Again, communication is king. There's never been any question about it. Now, it's crucial, especially on this process, timelines, appraisals, so on and so forth. So take advantage of uh, the information that Rob has to offer and certainly don't hesitate to ask me to get it to you. So that being said, let's talk about this week's prize. Real simple, last week's winner, Ron Hager. Ronnie, thank you so much for watching. Uh, your prize has already been shipped off to you since we know who you are um, and be glad you're not in an area where this kind of chaos is going on. And if you want to win this week's prize, be the next person to retaliate in some way, um, comment on Facebook, LinkedIn, retweet, email me, send a text, pick up the phone, whatever's the easiest form of communication for you so that I know you are the very next person to respond to this video and we'll get you this week's prize of equal importance. Pretty please share this video with your colleagues Subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Those things will go a long way and of course it'll make you one of the first people aware of when these videos are published because frankly I am not perfect about every Monday morning. Sometimes it's in the afternoon, sometimes it's on a Tuesday. Sorry, but uh, that's the way it goes. So remember this week's tip, communicate learn a little bit about what's going on in the appraisal process right now. Remember to be the next person to comment in any manner to win this week's prize. I apologize for the long-winded video. Have an amazing week, and we will see you next time. Bye.